Wouldn't it be great to cut through all of the complex trading techniques with fancy terminology where you feel like you're having to learn a new language just to get to grips with how it all works? Would you like to have a simple trading technique with a simple framework? Is that possible? Seriously, is that possible? Hold that thought for just one second. People will always say that the market is either too complicated or it looks too complicated to be able to fish out a simple technique from the price action. That would be like trying to find a needle in a haystack, right? Well, I think I might be able to show you something in the price action, which is a great little strategy, has a good hit rate once you've practiced it and has been sitting right under your nose in the price charts the whole time. Interested? Okay, well to explain this, we're going to have to take a step back and we're going to have to go on a bit of a journey. This is a chart of the US stock market from the 1930s and this is a chart of the US stock market yesterday. But from a price action point of view, what is the difference? Well, actually nothing. You see, many traders would have you believe that trading is very difficult because the market is always evolving, changing over time. But that's a massive flaw in the understanding of how markets actually function. Markets do not evolve. They are, in fact, dynamic. They do the same things over and over again, and they always have done. Therefore, there is no difference between price action from the 1930s, and there is no difference in price action from yesterday. And that is something that we can use to our advantage. Once you understand that the market is dynamic, what that means is that we constantly cycle through a process of expansion and contraction. And if we can identify where we are in that cycle, then we can turn that into a really cool little trading idea. Why? Because the candles in the charts will show you that. It's not a secret. It's not something the market can hide. You just need to know what it is that you're looking for in the sea of candles in front of you and be able to zero in on those clues. And this is what we're looking for. We're looking for candles where the height of that candle sits completely within the range of the previous candle. What that's showing us is it's showing us the market contracting down. And if we can identify that, we can know that after the period of contraction, we will get a period of expansion. So we use the candle structure to help us gauge when that might potentially occur. And usually, after uh, a sequence of those, we get some kind of a breakout move and we can turn that into a little trading vehicle that can help us with our day-to-day -day trading. So let's have a quick look at a couple of examples. So I've got an MT4 platform here. This is our partner broker switch markets and you can see here we've got the crude oil market. This is a bearish setup and I need to make a really, really important point with this and that is this type of thinking of contraction and expansion is always going to be the strongest on a bigger picture time frame. If you take this kind of stuff and you put it down into five minute charts and 50 minute charts, you're going to get a lot of false signals. So the further up in the time frames that we go, if we can correctly identify and anticipate properly, uh, the better and the more reliable that as a setup will tend to be. You'll still get some that don't work, uh, but if you can get in a decent move on a daily time frame, you can let that, uh, that, that trade run as a result of that. So you can see here in the crude oil market, we've got the setup right there. We've got that period of expansion and then you can see in this candle here that is our inside candle we actually get two in this instance and then from there once we break out of that range we then trade very very nicely all the way down uh, for several days uh, which gives us a really decent trading opportunity to the short side looking at a bullish example it's exactly the same just a complete mirror image of it and this is the pound against the US dollar and this is relatively recent as well you can see here that we have uh, a full bodied candle there with a really long wick there and then look at this candle here sits completely within inside that that's the same uh, um, uh, market dynamic of contraction and what we're looking from here at the end of this downtrend is we're looking for the market to then expand out again and it does and then you go with that move and then you turn that into a trading vehicle that gets you in the market on the long side and that uh, we get a, a decent trade from that and that's a bullish example again this is a daily time frame so you just need to be very careful on which time you time frames you start to study this but again it's a, it, the, the biggest component of this type of way of working is to think about how the market expands and contracts and use the candles as a way to helping you make that judgment uh, more effectively. So let's just be clear, trading inside day breaks is not a sure thing in the market, far from it. There are no guarantees and it won't work on every occasion. But once you know what it is that you're looking for and you begin to practice and gain experience, you'll see the price action in a completely different light and add a great little trading technique to your 
your toolbox. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.